Okay, thank you very much for joining me for today's Lunch and Learn series by your host, Dan Hotka. Uh, you're truly speaking. My short disclaimer. I am an Oracle ACE director. Um, our job is to promote Oracle technologies across the uh, uh, across the, the playing field. Uh, I like to do these lunch and learns as part of that uh, sharing. Okay, I've um, I'm going to be writing two more books uh, yet this year, early next year. So well published. Um, I regularly blog. I do training at a fixed rate. Um, these are my main courses. And uh, today's content is actually part of the SQL tuning course. So if you find this information useful, you want me to come on site, we can do the hands-on labs uh, and, and whatever um, in the entire course. Just let me know. We can do it uh, on site over the web. And I do have a portable computer lab, which makes the training a snap. OK. Today, the Lunch and Learn series continues. We're going to do um, explain plan content today. Next week I will be traveling, so maybe next week is the time for you to go out and review some of the, the prior um, presentations that I have. And then uh, uh, December uh, 8th we will wrap up this series and then start some PL SQL topics. So if you've got programmers there that might be interested in uh, some PL SQL topics, we'll probably do some Oracle 12. Uh, I want to do some show some analytical SQL and some new things that and different things that uh, PL SQL or I'm sorry, yeah, that PL SQL does, and then maybe we'll get into some analytical SQL and such that might be in January. Touch on some new ways of using the SQL language. So, all right, today's topic is explain plan content. Again, this material has come from my SQL tuning course. So, things that you find in an explain plan. We've been talking so far on how to produce an explain plan, some useful explain plan content, and then now these are some the things that you'll find at the line items. Okay, uh, and equal is a um, kind of an index combine type of a operation. It's used in Oracle 10G and before because um, Oracle 11 does something different we'll talk about in, in a little bit. And it also is standard edition. So Oracle 11 and Oracle 12 standard edition, you'll still see the and equal, which is like an index merge type operation. Access predicates is when you're typically accessing a, uh, a, an object. Okay, Filter predicates is when you're removing rows from a row set that's previously been been established af generally after access predicate. So next week we're going to look at an explain plan and kind of put the steps together. But I'm also going to show you what makes up for a problem SQL and some of the things that you can do about it. Okay. Sometimes you get an access, a table access not associated um, with a join condition. And uh, that's just because it's got some more where clause items possibly to take care of. All right. If you see the syntax view of, you're either accessing SQL from a view or a subquery operation. Okay, if you have a view or a subquery operation and you don't see the view of syntax, Oracle did a query transformation. Remember last week we were talking about query transformations? Oracle probably transformed it into a join condition. So that's that's how you kind of tell the difference. It's it's some subtle things, but you once you start working with these, uh, you get kind of a grip on well, where is my subquery? Well, if you don't see the view of syntax, Oracle probably converted it to a join condition. This next one is great. This is an Oracle 11 item. Okay. Um, Oracle 10 and before it was kind of difficult if if. You, you had some where clause items, you were expecting it to use an index and it didn't use an index. There's a number of reasons why Oracle doesn't use index and one of them is a data type mismatch. Okay? Oracle 11 now gives us kind of a slap in the face of 
you've got a data type mismatch. Okay, it puts this internal function in that it performs some internal function, which typically means you got a data type mismatch. Oracle, you can relate any column to any other column, but internally it can only um, compare dates to dates, numbers to numbers, integers to integers, var cars to var cars, chars to chars, and it's going to put a function on one side or the other to make them the same. So keep that in mind. And um, I think we looked at the 1053 trace a while back because that was a place to see the query transformations and the SQL that Oracle actually executed. So that's something to do this week or maybe next Monday. Um, actually coming back from a holiday is probably not the best time to do a lunch and learn anyway, but that might be something to look at is that 1053 trace. And you'll see the actual SQL statement that, that got executed, and you can ask me for the script that runs that trace. Okay? Concatenation means you've got a union clause in your SQL statement. Indexing. Index unique. Anytime you see the keyword unique in an explained plan, it means one. Okay? Index range scan is one to many. You're probably gonna you're gonna probably parse several. It's a non-equity type of a condition, a between, a greater than, something like that. In list innuator. You got an in clause in your SQL statement. If you have a bunch of ors and you don't have an in clause, one of the things Oracle has traditionally done at query transformation is it will conform, convert that or list into an in list. In 11 release 2, I have seen Oracle take an in list and convert it back to an or list. I did ask the Oracle people about this, and uh, they just kind of shrugged their shoulders of, well, that's just something that it did, or they felt it would be more efficient or something like that. Remember, query transformation is to open up more. The Oracle uh, optimizer goal with query transformation is to open up more access paths so that Oracle may or may not use an index or it has the opportunity to make some better choices. Okay, So in list innuator is something that Oracle does a lot of. It, it can do query transformation on an in list. It typically does uh, query transformation on a series of ORs. Okay, Table access full. It's going to access all of the rows from the table. This, an, a better description for this is multi-block read-ahead. Multi-block read-ahead. When you do a full table scan, you're going to do multi-block read-ahead. Table access by row ID. Typically, you're going to have a sub-slot sub underneath here in the explain plan with the index access. Indexes return row IDs based off the key values. Okay? This is also a way to interpret this is single-block reads. This is why um, it's better if you're going to be accessing more than 20% of the object. Oracle likes to do a full table scan because it does multi-block read-ahead and the rows are probably splattered all over the, the object anyway. And you don't want to be using single block reads to hop all over the object. Okay? It is much more efficient to do multi-block read-ahead and read the whole thing than to read a third or even half of the object single blocks at a time. All right? So table access full, table access by row ID. Both of them are good. Both of them have their place. Okay, here's the big three. Hash join, merge join, and nested loops. And then you have different flavors of all of them. Cartesian join, outer joins, inner joins, self joins. You have a variety of these um, flavors of them. But a hash, these are the join conditions when you got two or more tables on the from clause, or Oracle has rewritten some of your subqueries into join conditions. You'll see a hash join, nested loop, or merge join. Okay? We could have another lunch and learn on the specifics of, of these three join conditions. Non-unique index range can. When I look at the index, I'm only interested in a unique scan or a range scan. I don't really care if it's non-unique index or what kind of index it is. Um, but that's that's what I'm after there with an index scan. Okay, here's what 11G does in Enterprise Edition. Um, and this actually started showing up in 10G, uh, but it really kind of hit home. This replaces the um, and equal clause. What Oracle does is it's going to convert 
multiple indexes being accessed to this bitmap stream, multiple indexes, multiple columns. They don't even have to be bitmap indexes. It's going to convert them to bitmaps. This is extremely fast operation, uh, and it works well, and it only works in the Enterprise Edition of Oracle. Okay? So I, actually, I, I ran the class, had uh, people use the uh, Oracle Express for their remote databases. Oracle Express is a standard edition Oracle. Okay? Um, the, the part of the lab that we worked on that, that utilizes this, kind of drives this point home, didn't work. And I'm like, why didn't that work? And it's like, uh, okay, I've got to start paying better attention to which versions of Oracle has which features. Bitmap indexing is an enterprise edition feature. So, okay, partitioning, we can talk about it another time, but it shows up very nice in explain plans. Sorts also show up nice in explain plan and what kicked the sort off. If you have an order by or a sort in your, in your SQL text and it doesn't show up as one of these, that's a good thing. And what that means is there was an index available already in the order. Okay? And Oracle maintains the order. There was an internal flag. The flag shows up in the partitioning option, but it doesn't show up in a regular explain plan. But it's still there. Uh, and the flag says, it, it tells itself that, hey, these rows are in this row set are already in the right order. Don't, don't goof them up. So anyway, you might not see the sort if you have an order by clause or a group by clause. So, some unique, uh, some index scans. A unique scan, this is a B-tree index, this is the leaf level, these are two branch levels, and this is the underlying table. Okay. So a unique scan reads the key values, and these, these are database block addresses. We can talk about that another time too, but it points to the block and reads and reads the one row out of there. Life is pretty good. That's a unique. A range scan also drops down through the branch level to the leftmost leaf blocks. The leaf blocks are linked to one another. And um, it will hop along until it either satisfies the, the request of the query or it gets to the end of the leaf blocks. Okay. Full scan and fast full scan just reads at the leaf level. This is fast. Faster. Kind of depends on what you're doing. You'll see this on select counts. You'll see um, uh, where the uh, you have a where clause predicate, but it's very low. Oracle knows that it's going to be it's a very low item. Um, you'll see uh, uh, full scans and fast full scans on these additions. Okay. Full scan, it leaves reads all the blocks, single block access. Fast full scan is multi-block read ahead. Okay. Now, skip scanning is something I have not seen in a production explain plan. You might see it. And basically, you've got a multiple key index. We'll call it column A, column B, and column C. And your query only makes reference to column B. And there are no other indexes that start with column B. Um, what this does is at the branch level, Oracle can tell if there's any of those rows in the under, underlying leaf, and it will skip the ones that it doesn't want. That's the skip scanning. So might not be the most efficient thing. If you see skip scanning, what you've got there is an opportunity for an index. That's how I would interpret seeing a skip scan show up in an explain plan. Okay? So we've talked about some explain plan content. Okay? We got kind of a late start, but I appreciate you hanging in there with me and signing up. I'm going to post the slides and the presentation uh, to my website shortly. Um, again, I'm taking uh, the December 1st as a travel day for me. It's a day right after the holiday anyway, so it's probably not the best time. So I will see you in two weeks, and do remember me for your training needs. <laughs>